try to lay the porcelain, you need to apply the bonding primer. So mix the bonding primer with water. Have a nice smooth paste. That's then mixed with a brush or a roller. And then apply the primer to the back of the tile. Create about a one to two mil depth should be sufficient to bond onto your wet bedding mortar. Once you coat the entire the back of the tile, this forms a good bond between your wet bedding mortar and your porcelain tile standard primers, SBRs, etc. Don't tend to work very well with porcelain, but this gives you a nice bridge between your wet bedding mortar and your porcelain tiles. Yeah, cut the back of the tile, make sure there's no gaps all around the edge, right up to the edges. Make sure you're filling all the voids, particularly on the back of a textured slab such as this one. And once that's then coated, that can be laid onto your wet bedding mortar. Allow that to dry probably overnight, and then you can uh, start to the pointing the day after. Okay, so with the flow fix, obviously it's powder always into water. Normally you'll mix it in a bucket with a, a spiral mixer or a paddle mixer. But obviously we're doing a, a smaller demo today. Your water level mixes around 16% water. You can add a little bit more if you need it to slurry. mix for two or three minutes normally until you get that kind of portable consistency. And then literally you pour along the joints. And you can see that basically starts to flow, find its own level. When you've done any sort of squeegee or uh, normally the, the hand squeegee type, the brush, the brush squeegee, and literally across the surface. Find its level. Into the joints. Normally go across your joints 45 degrees so it saves digging into the joints. Literal floor. And that is the initial application there. So when you leave that for 30 35 minutes to start to set up. And once it starts to set up, then you can start to clean off with a sponge and get rid of all the excess from the surface. Okay, yeah, so once after about sort of 35, 40 minutes, once it started to cure through, basically take off any excess from the surface with a clean sponge. Clean fresh water, take off any excess. And once that's all cleaned off, all the excess is gone. Leave that to cure, then remove any final bits with a clean cloth once it's, uh, once it's fully cured through. And then leave that to dry.